Good morning to everybody. Morning. As Father June mentioned in the beginning, today is the eighth anniversary of the birth into heaven of our former school director, Father Ismael Zuluaga of the Society of Jesus, who passed away on this day in 2012. Maybe the younger Saverians uh, don't really remember him, but when I was studying here, he was the school director until I finished uh, grade school. So he is considered our second founder because he is the longest serving school director from 1965 to 1985, 20 years. And it was he who built up Savior School and built up the reputation of our school. He got us PASCO accreditation as early as 1967. And working with Mrs. Jenny Go, they instituted the individualized instruction mode of education that became a hallmark of Savior School. After Savior School, he was assigned for another 20 years in various Jesuit assignments, but he returned to Savior School around 2004 and spent the last eight years of his life here. And he became the inspiration, the guiding light behind the opening of our new campus, Savior School New Valley. What makes Savior School New Valley different is that it's not just an extension of Savior School San Juan. It has a unique vision and mission, and that is to make Savior quality education more accessible, available to a bigger audience, especially to lower income families. And therefore, the vision of Savior New Valley is to have 25% of its student body on some form of financial aid. That is why around 2006, when Savior celebrated our Golden Jubilee, we also launched the Father Ismael Zuluaga Scholarship Fund to prepare the resources necessary to support those scholars. So Father Zulu, as we fondly call him, was already on thrice weekly dialysis uh, in his final years, but he continued plodding on working and he witnessed the opening of Savior School New Valley in June of 2012. And a few months later, he passed away uh, in October. Today, on his eighth anniversary, we would like to relaunch the Father Zuluaga Scholarship Fund, and this time following a different model. Aside from big contributions to the endowment fund of the Savior School Education and Trust Fund, we now invite sponsors to support scholars directly at an annual cost of 200,000 pesos to cover not only tuition and miscellaneous fees, but everything else to support the scholars. Uh, uniform, transportation, school lunch, everything else they need to, in order to avail and make the most of their savior education. So this is now one-to-one -one sponsorship, and we invite generous benefactors who will pledge to support one student for six years, no? for the duration of junior and senior uh, high school. So this is a, a direct appeal no? for Saverians to support younger Saverians. We already have 100 such scholars who are graduates of public elementary schools who are now with us doing high school at Saver New Valley. The first batch is already in grade 11. And very soon we will have 150 of them in high school and that would already be 25% of the high school population, at least. So we'd like to invite all of you to, to support this endeavor. After the Mass, we will see a video explaining this in greater detail. But let me just acknowledge the early responders, mostly the members of our boards of trustees in the school and in the trust fund, and also those who have responded to the alumni birthday letter. Let me just mention them. From the class of 1966, Emerson Go and Miguel Tan. From the class of 1967, Felipe Tan. From the class of 1968, Manny Fong Jr. and Butch Campos. From the class of 1973, Johnny Kua. 79, Rudy Ang. 85, Alfred T. And from 86, the chairman of the trust fund, uh, Jack Nang Jr. in the name of his alumni sons, Jakey and Joey. We also have five sponsorships from the Gokong Wei Brothers Foundation and three from the Jaime V. Ong Pin Scholarships. So today's October 8th 
and we have 18 scholarships. The target is 150. So I hope we can all spread the word and complete those 150 by early next year. Thank you very much, and Luchat looks.